good morning, good afternoon. It's um, afternoon here, maybe, maybe evening. I don't know, I lose track of time. It's one of those things anyway. So today, we, we challenged the other day to go shopping for just reduced items. So today, I'm going to be taste testing Peri Peri Chicken Takeaway for two. Mm. Problem is, Harry Fruity Girl doesn't eat meat. So it might be for one. But she does eat all the other stuff that's with it, like wedges and rice and peas and stuff. Anyway, why am I talking about that? Let me show you. Here we go. <gasps> oh. la, 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 la. So this is Peri Peri Chicken from Sainsbury's. It's new, it says there, new. And as the challenge was, shop from the reduced item, look from the reduced section, check that out. £7.50 reduced to £1.89. So you've got wings, wedges, spicy rice, peri peri peas, and peri peri sauce. So let's have a look at the nutritional information. I keep getting asked to do that and I keep forgetting. So... Oh look, there's no reds. Really? No reds? So there you go. I don't know what the cooking instructions are. There you go. Oven cooked from chill, 30 minutes. So, oh, you have to put the, the rice and the peri peri peas in the pippity pong. Each container must be, yeah, blah, blah, blah. Come on. I know how to cook chicken wedges. Uh, chicken wedges? Mmm, chicken wedges. That sounds like a good idea. I know how to cook chicken wings. But anyway, that's that. So, that's that. I tell you what, it weighs some. That weighs some. That really does. There's a lot of food in there for £1.89. So, thank you for um, whoever it was that challenged me to um, eat from the reduced section. Because <laughs> it's actually been fun. Because I would have... You know, maybe I wouldn't have picked this up, but I've got it now. So time to go to the back cave or just put it in the oven and the microwave. So, but yeah, so we might have to put it in pans on the top rather than whack it in the microwave just to be healthier because we like to be healthy. So here we go. But they can go in the oven. I bet they're yummy. Oh, wedges. I'm starving, can you tell? Anyway, I'll be back right to it as soon as it's cooked. All right, so the oven's on. That's what you can hear in the background. But I just got into this and I was instantly impressed. So I thought what I would do was stop and like do an unveiling because there's a lot of food in here for £1.89. So here's the bag of it earlier. There's the peri-peri sauce. Oh, I do love a bit of peri-peri. The last time I had Perry Perry was in London with my mate James and we ordered like basically a, a chicken each. It was amazing. So there's the the Perry Perry wedges. That's a good portion in there. There's the chicken wings. Oh my god. That's good. How many is in there? One, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, ten. Oh that's ironic. There's ten chicken wings here. So um, I'll show Harry Fruity Girl that because I've just uh, signed up for a, a chicken wing challenge. Uh, I've got to eat 10 in five minutes that are just like the spiciest chicken wings in Devon. So but that's, that's a hefty weight. So that's, that's intimidating when I wasn't intimidated before. Oh look, peas and rice. Who doesn't like rice and peas? I love a bit of rice and peas. So look at that. Look at all that. £1.89. Get in my face. Nom. To the oven. Right. This is fresh out of the oven. Now, I think that that gargantuan amount of food is worth £7.50. That's meant to be a meal for two or one hefty eater. <clears throat> but the challenge was buy food from the reduced section. This was £1.89. Look at them wings. 
Oh, peri peri wedges, they look lovely. The peri peri sauce is yummy, just tasted it. It's actually spicy, has a nice kick. Then you've got peri peri rice, which I haven't tried. And peri peri peas, rice and peas. So, now I've decided this is gonna be a dual purpose because her uh, dual purpose video, hence the little pink timer. Because I've got a challenge this week and I'm doing a, a spicy hot wing challenge and I've only got five minutes to eat 10 hot wings. So there's 10 on that plate. So I'm gonna set the timer there these are spicy, but they're not going to be like death spicy like the challenge is. And I, I don't even know whether I can eat 10 hot wings, 10 hot wings, 10 chicken wings in five minutes. I'm sure I can, but I've never done it before. So like all of my challenges, <laughs> I don't practice. I just have a go. So I'm going to set the timer. And what I might do is just have a little tiny nibble of one, which isn't cheating because this is meant to be a taste test, just to, tr just to try the taste of them before actually inhaling them. Um, so I'll do, I'll do a tiny little nibble, literally just to try them without dipping in the sauce or anything like that. And then I'm gonna try and get them down my neck, in my face, in less than five minutes. Because that's a challenge in itself, isn't it? So anyway, let's pause this and uh, let these cool down because that's the problem with food challenges. You can see the steam coming off there. They've just come out of the oven. We didn't do them in the microwave, did them in the oven. So they are going to be red hot. So I need to let them cool down a little bit um, so that I can actually eat them in the, in the allotted time. So I'll uh, change the camera and set up. But that is the best one pound 89 ever so thank you for uh, suggesting that i do a reduced aisle item challenge and thank you sainsbury's for having such amazing reduced items awesome this is win-win for me i'm starving okay so here we are this is like a king's feast for one pound 89 so I think oh, they're still pretty hot. Yeah, they're pretty hot. So but I'm just going to go for it. So Foodie Girl's going to join in. I've got her, her own little saucepan of peri peri sauce. So there you go. There's your, there's your saucepan. I can't remember the pot word again. I've forgotten already. Ramekin. Ramekin, see? That was a test. <laughs> hey! So, and would you like some of the wedges? Take them out of the light. You can eat whenever you want to eat because I'm going to set a time and try and get these down within five minutes. It's kind of intimidating me actually. That's a lot for five minutes. I don't think it is. I know, but. I don't know, I've never attempted these. I've done, I did seven chicken nuggets in one minute. That was really hard, you know? I'm not, I'm not such a good meat eater as I am a vegetable eater. Here's the puri puri uh, rice. So, that smells yummy. Mm -hmm. So you've had the rice, now he has gone out the peas. This is peri peri, oh look, there's loads of juice in the bottom of these. These actually look pretty good. So, okay. So we're getting in. Okay, I'll tell you what. Normally, if you're gonna do an eating challenge, you go at it when you've got an empty stomach. So part of me is thinking, I should just go at these, but they're pretty hot. I think I can do it. Crack on if you want to, if you want to taste, you can always have, have anything not. Some of these are massive as well. So um, I kind of, right, okay. So what I'm gonna do, this isn't cheating. I'm gonna lick one <laughs> so that I can uh, 
give you a, a taste. They, yeah, okay, so I'll give you a taste opinion. They've actually got a bit of heat to it, which is really nice for a supermarket pro product. So this is Sainsbury's own brand. What is it? Sainsbury's own brand, Peri Peri Chicken Takeaway. And it's seven pound fifty. We answered the challenge, so got it reduced by a one pound eighty nine bargain. And then I thought, well, I've got to do a, a chicken wing challenge this this week or next week, a hot wing challenge, like uh, the spiciest chicken wings in the southwest or something. But I've only got five minutes to eat ten of them. So, and I've never practiced. I don't practice anything. I think it's funnier if I don't. So. I might actually chicken out of the challenge. <laughs> chicken out if I don't do it. So um, I'm, I'm just going to get in here and you could be my judge. So three, two, go. Oh, good. Roots hard. It's dry, but it's nice. It's yummy. Two minutes. Mm -hmm. The first bit on the end. Three minutes and eight. Okay. So, every foodie guy can demolish 10 chicken wings in five minutes or under five minutes. But that's not the challenge. <laughs> the challenge for next week is where I can eat them when they're extremely hot. Because there's a blend of three peppers that they're ordering in, especially this restaurant because nobody else is stupid enough to attempt this challenge. So they have to order in the peppers especially. So, but I'll tell you what, that 
was spot on. I'm a bit gutted that I ate them in three minutes. This is really nice. So I'm chuffed that I can, you know, do a practice run for a challenge whilst doing a review. That was fun. Um, they were damn good. Seriously, I haven't even eaten any of the rest yet. If these are half as good as those chicken wings, I'd pay £7.50 for that. But I didn't. I paid £1.89. <laughs> Bargain. Right, okay. So, that was all right, wasn't it? Three minutes. I could, I could beat three minutes. Easy. Eight seconds of waffle, dipping it in the sauce, pulling gristle out because like you could literally the bit of the chicken wing, sorry you don't eat me, but the, you know, there's a bit of the chicken wing, we all know that it's in an, an inedible. So I've eaten all the meat. Um, if, the, if if somebody come in and, and checked over those bones, they'd be 100% certain that they're done. Like, you know, I couldn't, and everything that's edible is done. So they were really, really good. So hats off to Sainsbury's. That's really good peri peri chicken, you know? Um, that's as good as the stuff I had in London. And uh, I had it delivered from a, a peri peri restaurant. So what are we getting into? The... I'm blanked. <laughs> what are these called? Wedges. What are these called? <laughs> so. Did you try one? Mm. Dip it in the sauce. That's what it's for. The sauce makes these wedges. Yeah, they're, they're not bad. The, the chicken wings were phenomenal. These are all right. Should have put them in the air fryer. Put them in the oven. I think if they'd have been done in the air fryer, they would have been excellent. They would have had that deep fried um, texture rather than, you know, at the end of the day, it doesn't matter how you spice up a wedge. If you're doing them in the oven and they're, you know, processed pre-packaged wedges, they're gonna say taste similar to other processed wedges, so. Basic wedge? Yeah. They're, se they're seasoned well. I mean, they're pretty. The sauce is that, wasn't it? Yeah. But without the sauce, they're not that good. With the sauce, they're excellent. So, yeah. So, hats off to Sainsbury's for putting in a proper peri peri sauce. Is that the first sauce you've had from a processed meal that actually tastes really nice? Um, <clears throat> never had sauce with a processed meal. Um, so it's... Um, All right, when you've had... It, it's pleasantly surprising. I didn't expect... Usually you get um, from the supermarket, you don't get spice. Yeah, yeah, that's what I mean. It's like, so... so it's. Um, it's a pleasant surprise to yeah. actually be able to taste the spice and the flavour. It's the hottest. Um, you know when you get a three spice thing and a four spice thing in typical like, supermarket meals? We like spicy. And um, I taste them and I'm like, you shouldn't have even put one on there. This, in this ramekin, it's a really good peri peri sauce. I'd be interested to know what brand it is because I bet it's not saying to be own. I bet they've cheated and used a really, this is a really good high quality peri peri sauce. It doesn't taste like something you would buy in a supermarket in no. a bottle. No. Hmm. Oh, my beard, boy. Oh, has my beard gone red? Yeah. Mm. Oh, well. Um. Hmm. Yeah, I'm only eating these because the sauce is divine. 
Mm. So well done Sainsbury's for actually delivering a spicy sauce. Because supermarkets fail so much and so badly when they call something spicy. Even Iceland, when they sell their Carolina Reaper curries and stuff like that, they don't, they just, they don't even taste hot. It's like, I, I don't know what it is. Right, I'm gonna get into the rice now. So, I'm gonna try it on its own and then I might pour a bit of the salt, the, the peri peri on top. Smells really good. I'm not a big white rice eater. I prefer wholemeal rice and grains and quinoa and couscous. But you know what? For something that came out of a, a bag for one pound eighty nine, this ain't bad. But It's not spicy at all. It's seasoned. It tastes better than something like an Uncle Ben's microwave rice or whatever. I'll just put a little bit of this on. Maybe it's what it needs. Um, I don't dislike it. Did you, did you put some sauce on? Or do you need some more rice? No. Um... I'm not going to eat anymore. It's nice, but um, not nice enough for me to go back for another taste. No, fair enough, fair enough. Even with the sauce. The sauce smothers the taste of the rice, and all you can taste is the sauce. So the rice is okay. Oh. Yeah, it's like, I don't think there's anything unpleasant about it. I'd probably, it depends on what the peas taste like, I'd probably have mixed them together, you know, but, and blinged them. But this is like just a, a taste test of the food in general. So we're not, we're not blinging anything. So, um, that's, I'm going to get into the peas. Have you got, you got the peas to get into? Hey, nice. uh, yeah, I was just um, thinking the same for something that came in a plastic box and we cooked it in, in the oven, the yeah, plastic tub. Mm. I'll bring these to the camera because they've got like a really nice um, sauce already in them, you know, so they're not, I don't know what happens when you cook, like, Whenever you cook peas um, that are in these plastic containers and you have to pierce the lid and stuff, the peas are normally green because they normally dry out and everything like that. But these... They're quite fresh, aren't they? Yeah, they're nice. So there's there's like four different shades of peas there, which is weird for a hey-ho. You know, like when you buy bird's eye peas, they all look exactly the same colour. There's loads of different shades of peas in there, but... Maybe they, maybe they wanted that. That's because um, they're left in their natural state. They're not artificially dyed. Ooh. True. Yeah, they're really good. So, from my personal take on this, would I pay £7.50 for this? No. <laughs> would I pay £1.89 for it if I saw it in a reduced section? Yes. Times 10. This was the best one pound eighty nine that I've that I've spent. So if I was wanting to save money and I saw these in the reduced section, I'd have them straight away. How much would I pay for that? I'd probably pay like 
four ninety five for that. But I don't think I don't think it's worth seven pound fifty. Although it is really tasty. But everyone's on a different budget, and everyone has different ideas about how much food is worth and stuff like that. You know. So this challenge was about eating from the reduced section. So I think we're a total winner. So the chicken was phenomenal and they enabled me to practice and stuff like that. So I'm, I'm going to give it two thumbs up just because I, you know, um, the peas were fantastic. The wedges were okay. The rice was okay. The sauce was phenomenal. The chicken was knock it out of the park, it was great. So I, I think it had a lot to do with the, sh with the cooking, actually as well, you know, because they weren't too overdone that I couldn't eat them quickly, and they weren't too overdone, underdone, that I was going to be worried about buying a reduced item. So that's my tuppence. What, what are your thoughts? Um, <clears throat> two thumbs up, one for the sauce and one for the peas, because they were both awesome. Yeah, okay, cool. So, and the, the other stuff is this, bland and filling but you know for for what we paid if we were starving this would all be gone and eaten but we'd probably bling it with other sauces and um, you know the remainder of this you can see how much i like the sauce there's none left it's just a little dribble in the in the bottom of, of the saucepan ramekin thing so that was great oh do you know what mm. it was spicy tradition dictates that i need to finish it tonight Oh, that's good. So yeah, go out and buy it. If you're the sort of person that's got seven pound fifty in their pocket that wants to go out and buy a meal that's cooked in your oven for thirty minutes, then buy it. If you're the sort of person that hasn't got seven pound fifty and is on a budget, look out for this in Sainsbury's reduced section because that's where we found it. So, and I'm really happy that we tried it because I wouldn't have picked that up. So the challenge has been fun. So, but there's more to come because we got a veritable hoard of food. <laughs> so the next video is still going to be reduced food because we've got so much, you know, we, 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 could, we could make a, like two or three videos out of it on one shopping trip. That saves on fuel. So we're doing our bit to save the environment. So anyway, Thank you very much for watching. Drop a like on this one. Um, the like goal is going to be um, 15. Oh, what am I going to say? What do I really fancy? So the like goal is going to be 15 of them chocolate covered Brazil nuts. What are they from? Quality Street in the tins at Christmas. Do you remember them? So I want, anyway, that's a light goal. 15 chocolate covered Brazils in the purple foil. Drop a, drop a message in the comments if you know what the hell I'm talking about, because I don't. It's sad, isn't it? So subscribe to the channel, but make sure that your sub subscription list is set to public, otherwise we don't get a subscribe. And if you really want to get loads of annoying spam from me when I upload a video, go live or anything like that, click the little bell icon. So this one's going to be different because I'm going to say goodbye and Foodie Girl's going to press the stop button so you don't get a gratuitous close-up of up my nose or anything like that. So thank you for watching. I'll see you on the next one. Bye-bye.